Hey guys, I am Kyle and in today's video, I am going to show you how to create a journal on Canva that you can sell on Etsy. Alright, so now here we are and we are currently here on Etsy. And before we go here into Canva into creating our own journal, we will be scouting out some uh, competition right here on Etsy or maybe some inspiration if you would uh, want that. So from here when you're in Etsy.com, the first step that you would do is go into search button and type in journal. Or if you have some specific journal in mind, then you can go for maybe gratitude journal if this is what you're into creative journal or reflection journal or whatsoever then you can just click on the search button and type it there and you would see the journals right here that is on sale with that category so in my case it would be this one right here so I will be uh, skimming through some samples right here so for example this one is marked as a bestseller so I can click on this one right here and I could read its content what it's all about the description how did the seller uh, construct the details of this uh, journal right here then I can observe some of it right here but if you want you can also buy this product in that way you would know the contents of it and you would have a more concrete uh, vision or maybe a concrete way of learning what is in the pr it is needed in the journal or whatsoever right there so especially if you're a beginner this is really helpful so you can scout out right here some details about the product right here what made this the best seller and so on and you can see some details right here and you can also see the reviews and so on so that you would have some idea on what would be the great content for the to be in your journal right here so you have these different graphs and so on right here which are easily created in canva so we'll be I'm discussing that later it, you can see it right here so as you can see this has three PDF files right here and you can so read some of it right here and you can always go for more for example with this one right here then you can always count for this one right here and you can know more about the details but yeah that is basically it for that step just wanted to uh, share that to you because that is a really great tip especially if you're a beginner and you're just starting out in your uh, journal journey so now let's proceed here into Canva and let's actually make some journal right here. So the first thing that we will be doing is we're going to click here on create a design because from here we will be uh, able to make our own size for our canvas right here or for our work. So for example, the most common one is US letter right here, US letter. This is the most common size for a journal so you can go for this one right here. When you click on that so this will be the size of it and then from here you can go for some templates right here you can access some templates in the design right here so yeah this is the co most common uh, size but take note that you don't have to follow this exact size i'm just showing you an example and then from here before we get into the main features of canva let me just show you a quick run through on the sections right here so from here you can basically see all of the main controls here on canva or features you have the design elements text brand uploads draw projects apps and so on this is where you most likely uh, would control the content of your work and then from here you have this page right here so you can click on this one to expand this so this is basically where you can see all the slides or the all the pages of your journal you can click on add page and you can see it all right here so you can just uh, go through each of them right here by clicking on the slides right here and this is where you can save your file and so on right here you can share and download it right here or you can share your work through this button right here if you would want someone to help you with your work so now that's done then let's proceed into uh, designing our uh, journal so the first one that that we'll be creating is the cover so we can just go for our design template right here and we can go for a journal cover right here and yeah or you always have the option to create your own design right here you can just use the elements right here but in this case we'll be going for a template so that we will have an easier time since i'm just showing you on how you can create this so for example i like this vibe right here so i'm going to click on this one right here and as you can see the background is not really right there and as you can see the background is now perfectly in sync with our size right here and that's a good thing when you are creating your size first uh after 
uh, instead of just going to search here and on your templates and that way you would have a lot of sizes you wouldn't be able to get your size so in this way we would have it perfectly fit right here so we have this so let's just delete this one right here delete page and then from here we now have our uh, title so this will be our this will serve as a title and then we're gonna add a, another page and then from here we're gonna go into design next right here we're gonna go back and then from here we're gonna create a content for our journal so for example we're gonna go for search for a journal or specifically gratitude journal since we are on the gratitude journal niche and from here we'd see a lot of templates so naturally we would want it to be uh, to be related into the design or the vibe of our cover page so we would be choosing a template based on that and i think this one is pretty good right here gratitude journal as you can see i now have it right here just like that and i think the colors are not that far apart so let's say we went this with this one right here but of course you can also edit the colors right here you can go for this one right here to make it more uh, uh more similar right here so i change it just like that and now i have the contents right here on the my gratitude journal right here so now is that i have the cover and my content right here this is my sample content but of course you can always add more if you would want to add another um, maybe another style of content Maybe you would like to add some pictures or so on right there then you can also do that right there but we'll be discussing that later on but first off we'll be going here into the cover page right here so we'll be designing this so the first one is we're gonna edit the text right here so maybe i want this to be not here because it's too small so i want to name this as gratitude gratitude right there i'm gonna go and make this bigger right there and I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna place it right here and right here I'm gonna go and do this also right there but as you can see the text is not really visible because of the style so we can just add an effect to that so from here we can go for a lift and it would be more uh, visible right there or we can just simply go and go for a different color right here click on this one and we can go for maybe white and as you can see it's much better right here so we can go for a white so that it will be more visible right there and you can always go to the effects panel right here click on your text click on effects then you would have some shadows or lift if you would need that or you have some other features right here if you would like that then yeah you can just edit it easily by just going through this uh, toggle right here so we can go for lift right here so yeah we just want this simple uh, design right here so I, th I think this is basically already good I don't have to edit much since it has done most of the designing and yeah I think that's really good except I could go and make it this bigger right there maybe just like that I can make I can still make it bigger so I'm gonna do that then I'm gonna make it right here and I don't like the spacing so I'm just gonna put this in the center right there by selecting both of them and I'm gonna put them into the center by going by observing the line right there so yeah i think this one is good, pretty good or maybe wait right there i think yeah i think that is enough for this one so now let's just proceed to the content page so now from here you can see the content right here so take note that you don't have to follow this specific style you can always go for this one and you can go for a lines right here uh, notebook lines you can go for that one if you want to it to be uh, editable so you can even go for this one right here as you can see just like that and you just have wait for, it for load and then you can change the color of the background again you can change it to like this and then you can edit the lines individually you can make them shorter and so on but you can just zoom in so that you can edit it more so you can do it right here in this section at the bottom so you can do it like this one and then from here you can just edit this right here and maybe you want to put some pictures right here so you want to make this line shorter right here so you would have a space and then you can put some picture right here so let's say we can go into elements now and then from here we want to go uh, picture of uh, picture of gratitude maybe just like that and then you can go for some pictures right here so maybe you can go into photos since we are looking for a picture right here and we can go for this one right here and we can place it right here so for example you want this one right here then you can also do that and you can and then you can put some designs and so on so yeah this is basically 
the use of elements so you can just not just photos you can go for shapes graphics whatever you would need you can even go for an ai image generator which is really really good so i recommend that you go and try this even if you have just the free account then you can still do this right here and then you can add some text right here so you can also do that and yeah you can edit more of this and once you're done editing the lines you're satisfied with the placement and so on so yeah with those knowledge in mind you will be able to create a journal here on canva using those tabs but if those are not enough you can always explore the elements tab the text tab you have your brand tab right here where you can edit the colors of your theme or your template and then you have your uploads right here where you can see all the things that you have uploaded into your work here in the draw tab you can draw anything you would like right here so you would have your pens for example so right here as you can see we have this one and you can draw right here and just like that and you can choose other pens if you would like and you have your projects so you can see all your projects right here but i'm not going to show it right here so i'm not going to let it load right here so we also have the apps so these apps right here is very useful so you can use these apps to uh, integrate them to your project in order for you to have an easier time doing your projects right here you can use the equations you have your qr you even have your, your mock-ups right here so if you're creating products you can do it right here so yeah those are basically the basic controls and how you can create a journal right here on uh, canva but of course canva is not the only app where you can do that you can also do that in other uh, applications but i think canva is the easiest way especially if you're a beginner and after you're done with everything then you can just uh, go here and rename your project into whatever you'd like so let's say sample journal right here and now you can go and export your work so you can click on share and you can click on download and you can now download everything you can go for pdf you can go for png or so on you can go for pdf for printing you can go for this one and select pages and so on you can go for the settings right here on how you can export your works or your pages right here in your journal and yeah that is basically it for this tutorial now you know how you can create a journal right here on canva using the steps that i have mentioned in this video thank you for watching